Hello everyone, it's me John, aka Nosey, and today I'm here for a discussion video of sorts, and I think I have done something of, like a video similar to this in the past, but that channel's no longer available. Um, I used to have a dedicated channel that was about anime and manga, um, of course, for, you know, for whatever reason, maybe it's no longer around. But this video doesn't need to be made, I get it. But I wanted to just have a general discussion about the whole debacle, the whole debate between English dub and subtitled anime, or Japanese animation. Now, I'm somebody who cannot speak Japanese and does not understand Japanese writing or text. And also somebody that suffers with dyslexia, which when it comes to subtitles, I sometimes can struggle uh, in order to keep up with what's being said and also keep uh, you know, my attention on what's going on in the scene or what's going on at that moment as well. So keeping my attention on two separate things can be quite difficult for me. So d English dubbed anime has been on the go for maybe going on for nearly 20 well it's been going on for quite a while at least a good 30 years or more uh you know there's been stuff that's been dubbed into english during the 80s period and i think bef just before that but anime really started to become something more japanese animation really started to become more introduced to the west more during like the late 80s early 90s and early 2000s was within that bracket time frame is when anime really started to take off in the west when it comes to general programming like so obviously as a kid i grew up with a numerous amounts of series you can Yes, I understand some English dubs in the past, and some even to this day are not the best. I will grant you that. Some of them are either rushed, or they're not translated properly, or they are just not as good as others. Now, I prefer watching English dub because, well, one, I'm English. Uh, and two, like I just said, I do struggle with um, taking in what's going on and also reading the subtitles. However, I have got better. I can watch subtitled anime and I can also watch dubbed anime. I can watch both. If there isn't a dub available for a series or I have no choice but to watch it subtitled, then I will. Um, I'm not somebody that will completely just say, no, I am watching that because it's subtitled. Um, I'm not one of those people. It, I will, if I, over the years, I've watched stuff subtitled. And also, if a dub's come out for that same series, I've watched it in dub as well. Or if there hasn't been a dub available, I've watched it subbed. Now, there is a huge kind of debate within the anime fan base. And it gets quite heated and uh, it can be quite insulting as well. Uh, these like what I would call purists within the anime fan base that feel that watching... No, no, you, you get a, there's, a, there's a degree of this. You've got those that watched anime raw, which means it's literally no subtitle or English, nothing. It's just raw Japanese audio uh, or voice acting. So you've got nothing to go off of. And you get a small percentage of fans that think they are elitist when it comes to watching anime in raw format. I cannot, I do not understand what's being said or what's going on uh, whatsoever if it's in raw. Now, subtitles is better because one, it's in English and it's a, it's, it's a kind of a rough translation of what's been said and what the dialogue and what's going on. Then, you know, so subtitled is better than just going raw for me. 
However, it's even better when it's dubbed in into, into English. Now, the problem is as well with English dub, some people have a problem, and I will agree, is localization within English dubs. Where uh, there has been some cases over the years, and very and also quite recently, where when they when they translate scripts into English, into English, uh, the Japanese into English, when they translate that in order for them to do it into dub English dub, um, there is times where they have slipped in localization and certain stuff that does not work and it kind of changes the narrative slightly or quite a lot in some cases and there has been cases of this happening with also like in the past with censorship with the whole kit like kids wb and four kids and all that used to do a lot of censorship around japanese cartoons when they dubbed them back in the 90s and early 80s uh, late 80s early 90s Nowadays, you don't really get any censorship. Per se well, you do get censorship depending if there's like nudity or anything like that involved. You might get some censorship there, but what but you get like what the the whole narrative of the series should it plays out as it should be intended, you know, as it was in Japan uh, compared to back in the past. Now. Yeah, so like I said, I grew up with numerous amounts of series when I was a kid. Uh, I grew up with Sailor Moon, the original Sailor Moon dub, Card Captors, um, Shaman King, Digimon, Pokemon, um, most of the stuff that debuted on Toonami. Um, numerous amounts of series, numerous amounts of series. That's just a few names to, 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 to give you there. And those dubs are not perfect in any shape or form, uh, especially for, say, card captors. Now, card captors, I have a, I still have a bit of a soft spot for that dub because I like the voice castings for the characters. I think the, I think the casting choices for to play those characters were well done, in my opinion. I, I thought they, I thought they suited the roles well. However, the actual script and the translation of the series it was changed that dra dramatically, that it was a different show completely in the West when it was adapted. Because of the censorship and because they didn't want it to be too dark, they thought it would be uh, young kids might find it very uh, uneasy to watch and all this kind of thing. So they changed it up to become more in the in the English original English dub for the series when it aired back in the nineties. Um, they changed it that much that it became just a simple comedy. It it was it is more to Card Captor Sakura. Or, you know, as it was all known in the West, it was just known as Card Captors, but it's known as Card Captor Sakura um, in Japanese. Um, so, yeah, in the West, of course, it was changed that dramatically that it, that it it didn't have any serious tones to it whatsoever, and it was just simply just a comedy. And a quite apparently, there was a quite a lot of episodes that never actually got translated that were purposely missed out. So those episodes that were missed out were very important for the narrative of the series, if it was if it was dubbed properly with the intent with the how it was intended to be viewed how how it was supposed to be in, uh, as intended from uh, when it was produced in Japan, it was completely changed when it came to the West because of the censorship and because they they missed out episodes, very key episodes, anything that was too. They found or deemed too violent, or this and the other. And it's not just card cap. It's not just not. It's not just card captors that had that treatment. There's very few. Even Pokemon did back in the early days. Uh, there was some really weird episodes. There's also the whole Polygon, uh, the infamous Polygon episode that never that never actually saw the TV, because apparently the episode it caused kids to have. Um, to 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 go into fits because of the, the 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 flashing lights and stuff within the episode, so that of course never got 
that not never got televised in in, in the West. Um, and there's a few other episodes as well. Like there's an episode where there's a gun in an episode in Pokemon. Um, uh, in Jap in Japan, a, a character actually pulls a gun out and holds it up, holds it up to one of the characters. And <laughs> in, in in the four kids version of that. They have literally just edited out the gun, and he's literally just like pointing nothing. He's like got nothing in his hand. He's literally just pointing nothing, like an empty hand or something, something daft like that, uh, in order to get around it. Um, and also the Pokemon, um, <laughs> also the Pokemon uh, intro, the original Pokemon intro was changed slightly as well because in the Japanese one, Pikachu. Runs through the legs of a small of a young girl. Now I can understand this being a little bit, yeah, okay, a bit wrong. But there's nothing. It's there's nothing too wrong about it. It's innocent. It, it's Pikachu. He's a he's a Pokemon. So he's just running through people and running through people's legs. There's nothing more to it. But for some reason in the West they redid that. Where he doesn't actually run through her legs in the West, he kind of either runs around her or runs over. I don't know. They changed that ever so slightly as well for because of the censorship and the changes, and also in some cases they changed the names and ages as well in the West, like they did with Digimon. Um, you know, uh, all the characters were given more Western names like TK, Matt, Sora. Uh, Tai, uh, instead of Tai Chi, it was Tai. Uh, Hikari was Kari. Uh, you know, Matt and uh, Joe and all those characters, you know, they were given more Western names because, you know, the, the folk kids wouldn't really understand Japanese names. Uh, and, also, and so that was changed in the dub and it was a little bit more... It, yeah, so there was, ch there was certain changes... Uh, when it came to the dub for Digimon as well. However, I think the dub for Digimon was better than a lot of the shows back in the 90s, but there was still that little bit of, um, you know, there was still a bit of localization in there, and it the narrative was changed a little, quite a lot. Uh, it was changed a little bit, um, mostly to try and suit the Western audience. Um... And then Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I have to bring Yu-Gi-Oh into this. The original Yu-Gi-Oh series. Now I found out. I didn't realise this. But Yu-Gi-Oh is actually very fucking dark. Uh, the original Japanese series. Um, is actually really dark. Where apparently. Uh, Yugi. Or when you know when he's in his. Uh, when he's in the Pharaoh mode. You know, what, you know when he awakens. He's dueling somebody, and I think he kills someone. Um, I think they're like dueling on a on a roof or something, and he ends up being pushed off the roof, and the character dies. Of course, that never translated well in the West. Um, so that episode never aired. It was never dubbed. It was never brought to the West at all. So Yu-Gi-Oh is very heavily changed. Um, in in the narrative where certain episodes were, uh, that a lot of the much more darker toned episodes are missing from the Western version. So it's again a little bit. Yes, there is still a little bit of darkness to it, but it's nowhere near as like the what I've been told about the Japanese version of the series. So the point of this video discussion is is I understand that there was problems in the past. The like it was like uh, the like the people in the West, a lot of the production companies that took on or brought over or did English versions or English dubs for a Japanese series, a Japanese animated series, um, back in the nineties and early two thousand, well, mostly through the nineties, really. Um, I don't think they quite knew how to go about it, and they changed a lot of it a lot. In order to try and suit the Western audience by putting a bit of localization in there and Western names instead of just Japanese names, um, all this kind of thing where they changed things and they changed a lot of the narratives and a lot of the stuff back then as well. Um, 
there's still a little bit of localization happening now in dubs, but not as much. It it depends of who is the who's writing the script. Um, some of them are actually quite good at their jobs when they come to English dubs these days. Uh, but there is the odd one or two where they will sneak things in um, that don't really need to be there and it will change the narrative a little bit compared to what it was intended. Um, it just generally depends who's writing the scripts and who's the director behind it, the ADR and all that. Um, but yeah, for me personally, I prefer English dub because the fact I am English and I'm probably going to get comments saying you're just lazy, you're just lazy, you're using uh, you know dyslexia as an excuse to get around it, um, you know, and all this kind of thing. But the the problem is, is like I've just said at the beginning of this video, um, I will quite happily watch something subtitled. I have got better at it For, throughout the years and through the many years of me watching anime. Um, there's been times where I've had no choice but to watch it subtitled. I've, I've been that interested in checking a series out. At the beginning, I struggled, very much struggled, and I put it off a lot watching something subtitled. But I persevered. I persevered with it, and I developed a bit of speed reading as a result. Now, those people that may not know what speed reading is, it's also used in voice acting, and basically, you just simply skim over the try and skim over it as fast as possible. And what that does, then, it, it, you're able to kind of take in what's being said as uh, as as more of a natural natural gut way, and it helps you to process what's been going on still by but also being able to keep an eye on what's being said on what's what's going on on screen as well as what's being said. Um, so I, over time, I naturally developed something known as speed reading. Um, so I'm able to just skim over what's been said in uh, said in text. Now that took a fair few years for me to develop and get good at, uh, get better at. And I'm still not perfect now, but I am better than I was when I first started watching subtitled. But my preferred go-to is dubbed. And there is some really good dubs of stuff out there. There's some also some very bad stuff out there over the years. But dubbed... I, I, the point of this video is, is that I don't... It, we are all fans of the same medium. I'm a fan of anime. I love my anime. And I don't see why there has to be this whole big debate of... Like sub, uh, you know, dubbed dubbed fans, subbed fans, they're kind of like at odds and butting heads at each other. I just don't get it because it's mostly people that it's most of the problem is it's sub people that watch sub or what watch watch anime subtitled and watch anime raw. It's mostly. I don't say all of them, but majority of the people that cause the problem for people that watch it dubbed are those people that watch either watch anime either raw or subtitled in English. It's people that prefer those two versions of what how they view their anime. It, they just seem to kind of have some sort of I have the high ground over you sort of thing um, to those people that are watching it in, in English. Now... I know, we all know, there's nothing wrong whatsoever with watching an, a, a series dubbed into English. Um, I mean, I grew up with French animation as well, and most of that's all dubbed in English. Um, you know, so it, just because it's produced in Japan doesn't mean it's a special case when it comes to being dubbed into English. There's many series out there that are produced in a different country that speaks a different language that have been dubbed into English, but nobody seems to have back, back, back an eyelid of all that stuff. It's mostly the stuff from Japan that people have seemed to have such a problem with. Um, I mean, like I say, I mean, yes, I understand that, you know, the Japanese voice actors are in a league of their own. There is some incredible talent in Japan. 
And yes, I from time to time like to sample and I like to see how good they uh, good they are. And there is some incredible acting talent in Japan, um, voice actors. But there is also some very good actors in English as well. And I grew up mostly with like Funimation and Viz Media um, and uh, Bandai, uh, when Bandai used to dubbing, dub anime, um, you know, and all these different companies and four kids and, you know, all this, that, you know, that's, that's my kind of era. I naturally just grew up watching anime dubbed. Because that's how it was televised back in the day. So I just naturally was used to watching it dubbed. And it's something that's stuck ever since. Because I am an English speaking person. Um, so it, it, take, it makes sense to me to watch it in an English format. Even if it's subbed or dubbed. Um, you know, I, you know, you know, but there we go. That's basically the discussion today. Uh, it didn't need to be done. But it's just something that has really kind of annoyed me over the years. And I don't know why there has to be this. I don't know why there has to be this thing, this big divide. And I see that in, even the voice actors that portray characters or the English dub voice actors, some of them get harassed. Some of them get harassed and get cyberbullied and trolled by people who are adamantly against them voicing that character or have a problem with how they portrayed that character. And it, it comes to the point where they end up having to have no choice but to um, delete their social media accounts on Twitter or Facebook. Um there's been some really awful situations where vo uh, English voice actors have been treated like absolute shit because they just didn't like how they portrayed the character or how they said something in one sentence or uh, generally ge just it being an English voice actor for that character or an English cast. They, you know, it, the internet is an absolute cesspool when it comes to this sort of thing. Absolute cesspool, and um, it's just not on. It's just not on. I mean, end of the day, they're entertainers. They are voice actors themselves, and there is some incredible English voice actors out there that have worked on some very iconic stuff and continue to to this day. And you know, th you know, so I they are just entertaining us just as much as they are in Japan to the Japanese public. Um, there's not much difference there between the two. Um, the only difference is his language barrier difference. That's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has just been a little discussion I wanted to get off my chest. Um, I'm probably going to get some people that maybe know me or maybe don't know me commenting about this. Um, comment away. I really don't care if I get some flack for this. Um, I'm just simply expressing my own opinion. I have every right to express my opinion and I generally just don't agree with the treatment of English voice actors, um, how some of how some people go go after them on, on social media for whatever it is, personal attacks, cyberbullying, trolling them, uh, pe you know, personal attacks on their appearance and everything. It's terrible. Um and the whole debate of like sub and dub debate is just ridiculous. It needs to die. We are just simply enjoying enjoying anime, but we prefer to watch it in a certain way to what you watch it in. You know, um, you know whether you want to watch it in raw format, subtitled, or in in dubbed in English. However, you prefer to watch it. There's no problem whatsoever. I've got no problem with how people watch their anime, but I don't like it when they start bad mouthing and just generally making people that watch it differently to them feel like they are losers and feel like they are stupid or thick, this, that and the other, and just trolling people that like it a different way. That is just not how it should be. It should not be like that. Um, but there we are. Thank you.
I'll be back with more videos very soon. Take care of yourselves, everybody. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. So take care. Bye-bye. See you soon.